I'm going to bring up Mr. Uh, Tony Nicosia. Come on up, Tony. Harley Davidson obviously has been the basis for custom motorcycles for years. In 1971, Willie G recognized what was going on in the custom marketplace. They came out with the Super Glide. They took their big bike, put some pegs on, put a Sportster front end, changed the seat, did all kinds of stuff, you know. And they've always been the basis of uh, custom building. Interesting story, when I first met Tony, you know, we, we also write the newsletter and everything for um, the AMD. And, and I come from the aftermarket, I've had a builder at aftermarket company, so in one of the letters, we have SNS is a sponsor of ours, so I go, yeah, SNS, they're the premier builders of motors, and da 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 da, and put that in. Well, next thing I know, I get this email from some guy, Tony Nicosia. I go, what's this all about? Tony says, hey, Harley's got a pretty good program too. We got a new uh, engine that we just developed. So I says, I stand corrected, Tony. And ever since then, we've kept in touch. We've been good friends. And I'd like to give uh, Tony the mic here for a couple minutes so he can tell us a little bit about Harley's involvement in um, racing and custom motorcycles and some of their new programs. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate you coming down. Thanks, Bob. Um, again, my name is Tony Nicosi. I manage the Scream and Eagle product line for Harley Davidson. And uh, I've been riding Harley since 75, so I'm dating myself a little bit there. But anyhow, I've seen tremendous amount of trends from back then where choppers and chrome and gold plating was king and then fat tires and then the black finishes and then the cutback finishes. It's just amazing. Now we're back to choppers again. But anyhow, um, uh, my job is like an ideal job that everybody would want, right? But uh, I can tell you, it's very hard and very challenging, but I love it, it's very passionate, it's a great product. And I'm driven because of that to continue to develop great products for our motorcycles. Um, and it's you guys that have this artistic talents to build these very cool bikes from Harley Davidson's. And it's uh, some of the stuff that you guys do that influence a lot of the trends that go on. And uh, it's like some of these things you see with now, we're starting to see a lot of brass and copper finishes and we continue to see a lot of blacked out bikes and we start to see these uh, highlighted black finishes on wheels and so forth. So when you think about it, that, a lot of that you guys started out and then it moves on to where like Harley Davidson will pick up some of that and some of the other competitors bars will pick up on that. So Harley Davidson really wants to sponsor that because they truly believe in some of the things you guys do. So we want to continue to see that trend go on where you guys influence a lot what goes on with Harley Davidson's uh, modifications. So I want to thank again, and then uh, we're going to get out the trophies, right, Bob? You got it, Tony. So this modified Harley class, we, we have worked with Harley Davidson. They've given us support so we can pull this together. Um, it's been great. Uh, the competition throughout the series has been um, really close, and, you know, and what's nice is, you know, you come to these custom bike shows, and you'll see, hear a lot of the people say, oh, yeah, that's a nice bike, but I bet he never rides it. Uh, Bob McCreevy's got 40,000 miles, Jason's got uh, 20,000 miles. Um, these bikes get ridden, you know, and um, they can be built in the garage, they can be built by the dealership. It's just really what it's all about with uh, grassroots customization. So I'd like to talk about our uh, fifth place, our number 55 entry, Margaret Nicasi with CNC Cycles build on a 2004 FLH TCU. You know, this is one of those bikes that is really tricky. It has invisible tank mounts. I, I beg you to find where the fuel crossover is. There's hidden lights. It, it's just a wonderful bike. Thank you, Margaret. They're also a competitor from our Detroit show. Thank you very much. Fourth place. Um, goes to our number 25 entry, Freddie Arnold with his little red hot rod. 
Freddie is deeply involved in custom motorcycles. He's the U.S. representative for the IMBBA. Um, he's trying to help us out as we develop ours. He took a 74-74, got a nice FLA shovel head. Put a hardtail section on it, got that old bobber look. Excellent job, Freddie. Thank you for your support and all the help you've given us. Really appreciate it. One of my new favorite people, he's gone to a lot of our shows, he's very entertaining, um, he's got a heart as big as they come, it's our number two, 22 entry, Jason Bokniak with the Phoenix. <laughs> he's the man, hey Jason. <laughs> Jason has plans of uh, building a new bike, maybe in the freestyle class. He's trying to figure it all out. Um, who else would put that much chrome in a pro charger and just blast the hell out of his motorcycle? He's a great guy with a big heart. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Bob. Thank you very much. Our runner-up is another guy, multiple winner, great guy, a guy that thought he couldn't get it. You know, he was building a bike out of his garage. He's done a wonderful job. Come on up, Bob. <laughs> this guy said, no way, I'm out of class. He was so close in this one. This bike was literally built in his garage. It's over the years, he's taken it, he's put together. He's won a couple shows already. Excellent job, we hope to see you more. He's got his um, great uh, fat boy that just blacked out, no chrome on it, really followed through. Uh, PM controls, PM fat tire kit, just really clean bike, really done a nice job and just woes the crowds with something he built by himself out of his garage. Absolutely represents the modified Harley class. Nice shirt too, huh? <laughs> um, we're going to talk about the winner, but um, what I'd like to do, there, there, there's a few people from Harley Davidson here, like I said, and they support us. So I, I would like all the people from Harley Davidson, if you can come up on the stage, because we're going to have a very special award here. Harley um, really has stepped up the game, um, and I'm going to let Tony talk a little bit about it. The first place that we provide is a $6,000 prize. It's a pretty neat deal, but the um, Harley has stepped up. And Tony, why don't you tell them what you're going to throw in here to make this a little more attractive? So we're, we're pretty excited about this prize, um, but first I want to tell you a little background to it. Harley Davidson obviously has a strong tradition in uh, racing and uh, of course events like Daytona we sponsored three big racing events we had last weekend all Harley Davidson drag races which is really cool because it's all Harleys and there's all different classes it's a lot of fun to watch them and then we have the AMA races which were last night and tonight and then we have the NHR events which is over in Gainesville and we sponsor a team over there and that's always great to watch so with that background Harley-Davidson wanted to offer for first prize a completely assembled Screaming Eagle 120 cubic inch race motor. And it's, it's awesome and uh, we're very, very excited to offer that. I think that's stepping up, man. I appreciate the applause and support for that. Tony is personally involved with that project. He's done a great job. As I told you, he made sure I knew where that came from. That's right. <laughs> so. With no further ado, and as proud as I could be, our number 77 entry, Chris Richardson, with his 1953 Panhead, first place modified Harley. Unbelievable. Just a... Thank you, brother. All right. This bike represents where it all started. Um, wonderful that he won, you know, it's the, it's the bike that kind of shows the bobbers and where customization began in the market. Really proud to have Chris up here. He came all the way from California, support our show. Thank you very much. Thank you, brother. Yeah.
And Chris is shaking a little bit. Yeah. He's a little taken back here. <laughs> yeah, thank, you, brother. thank you, Chris. Thank you. Why don't you um, take a moment here and uh, let the crowd know. I, I love putting you on the spot here. Here you go. Oh, wow. I want to thank all the other builders. Um, everybody's stuff is just great out here. Uh, it's, you know, it's a fun show. Came a long way. <laughs> Uh, you know, it was a good, good time. Thank you guys. Thanks. Let his talent speak for him. It speaks volumes of the kind of man he is. Thank you, Tony. We appreciate your support. Thank you very much, Harley Davidson.